Welcome to the Riggin Farm YouTube channel. In this video, we'll show you our new batch of Italian honeybees and we'll talk about our chicken processing. In our last vlog, we showed the new meat chicken setup. The Red Rangers and Cornish Cross were separated with the electric netting. Unfortunately, the Cornish Cross chickens were being picked off by an owl at night. We believe it was because they liked to sleep under the stars rather than under the safety of the canopy like the rangers. We lost five birds within a week, so we decided to process the remaining chickens a week earlier than planned. They weighed about a pound less than we wanted, but 19 2.5 to 3.5 pound chickens is better than 12 3.5 to 4.5 pound chickens. We moved an old fridge onto our back deck to keep our perishable farm products separated from our personal food. Fresh chicken, anyone? We put the other half in the freezer. We also vacuum sealed the hearts and livers for later use. If you're in the North Georgia area and want to get hands-on experience and learn how to process chickens, check out our website and sign up for our upcoming chicken processing workshop. At the time of this recording, three of the six spots have been filled. Don't worry if you think you missed your chance because we will be scheduling more workshops in the near future. While you're on our website, go to the shop and order some handmade soap for yourself or as a gift. Take a look at how we packed this order. We also threw in some samples of four different soaps. We recently added five new fragrances and have four more coming soon. Now let's talk about our bees. We ordered bees for the third time, hoping that we'll do better now that we're actually living on the farm. Our first batch arrived mostly dead, so they never stood a chance. The second batch was very healthy, but we think we did a few things that made them want to leave their less than desirable living conditions. The hive was treated with tongue oil to help protect it from the elements, and the smell was still noticeable a few months afterward. That could have caused them to leave. We also learned since then that having the opening to the east is ideal, but of course we had it facing west when it was set up before. Lastly, they didn't have a great water source. We gave them a waterer, but it kept evaporating. Since we were living over an hour away at the time, we couldn't come up every day to top it off for them. We're confident that we'll be successful this time around and actually get to harvest some delicious honey. We received one queen, a few queen attendants, and about 10 to 12,000 workers and drones. They were delivered to the post office and we picked them up the morning they arrived. It's best to transfer them into the hive as the sun is setting, so we kept them on our back deck until they were ready to be moved. There's a can of syrup that they're all huddled around, and we gave them mists of water to stay hydrated. That evening, we moved them to the garden and removed the lid of the crate as well as the syrup can, then quickly put the lid back on top. Now let's get the queen cage into the hive. These bees decided to come along for the ride. We gently brushed them away because there was a small cork that needed to be removed from the cage. The queen is much larger than her attendants. The cage was placed between two hive frames and the rest of the bees were shaken onto the queen and into the gap in between the frames. That's a lot of bees! That white thing in the cage is candy that will be eaten to allow the queen to exit. We used a queen excluder that is too narrow for her to pass through at the bottom of the hive. That will force her to stay while allowing the others to leave for food and water. The next day we still had bees! That's a good sign! We checked on them a week later and the queen was free from her cage. We'll remove the empty cage and put additional frames in to fill the gaps in a few days. Zelda's babies opened their eyes at 14 days old.
They're much bigger and more active five days later. Vin and Ellen are loving farm life. The pigs are getting bigger. The two on the left are scheduled for the butcher on July 25th. The two females on the right will be bred soon. The male over there, he's going to be processed by us right here on the farm in the next few weeks for family consumption. So make sure you check out that video when we post it. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time!